podcasting from downtown Brooklyn. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. As usual, when I'm outdoors recording these productions, it's the morning time for me. But whenever you choose to listen to this in the morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, late at night, I definitely appreciate the likes, the looks, the listens, but I also would appreciate you hitting that subscribe and notification bell on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone, but of course, no pressure. So today I want to talk about how we know so many things uh, that's dealing with science, you know, hashtag science, technology, how we feel we may be progressive in um, making infrastructures and so many things in life, but we don't really even know how our bodies work, how we're wired, because I still see to date that there's so many things that our bodies tell us. Our bodies have many different symptoms and we Unfortunately, especially in this American culture based off of Western medicine, we don't know how to tell when our body's saying, hey man, lay off of the salt. Hey, lay off of the sugar. You know what? You need to get yourself a better bed. Or you know what? You need to stay off of your feet. Yes, our body does actually tell us many signals, but we're not trained to recognize them. We're actually trained to ignore them. Unfortunately, there's so many things of telltale signs. Like for instance, you could sell, if you have yeast, too much yeast in, in your body based on the color of your tongue. You may have certain things going on with your skin that may tell you you need to cut back on sugar or cut back on certain things, or you may be vitamin deficient. And unfortunately, we rely way too heavily on modern medicine. And modern medicine has definitely been compromised. I'm not going to hold back with saying that. And modern medicine is usually skewed because a lot of people, uh, which I've talked about before in the podcast, a lot of people who are in the medical field, they are trained based on a pharmaceutical company's itinerary curriculums. Because a lot of medical schools and institutions are funded by You guessed it, pharmaceutical companies. Pharmaceutical companies are in business to make money. Now, I shared one thing on my Facebook page about this one channel I look at, and he actually um, made the proper effort to show how we made the transition from actually homeopathic and holistic types of medicines and treatments to the now modern medicine. Uh, the channel is on YouTube, Truth Unedited, and he does give a good clarification of many things of the history, things, so many things that I didn't know already and certain things I didn't know already is a good point, And that was something that I did know about, about how we trust way too much, I see in the systems of man, because it can easily be something that you're sick with. You could easily just eat the right thing or stop eating the right thing. See, one thing with me was what I understood with dairy. I was still eating dairy at one point this years ago, and I came across some information on a couple of documentaries, and they highlighted the fact that dairy, white flour, white sugar can cause migraines, among a whole bunch of other things, because sugar causes inflammation. Sugar lowers your immune system. That's something that we need to know that most of us don't, we have no idea about and is not promoted. Best believe it is not promoted, but they will promote for you to take a certain drug all the time to make that money for the pharmaceutical companies. So going forward, I was having massive migraines. I still get headaches, yes. But with the migraines, it was like every day. And I realized, let me try it out because something in my spirit was telling me, you know what? Maybe lay off of of the dairy. I stopped eating the dairy, cut back on the white sugar intake and the white flour intake. And definitely in less than two weeks, my migraines, at least to that capacity, weren't really happening anymore. And certain little things I felt slight improvements on. So it's crazy so quickly when I omitted something 
And I felt worlds better in comparison to how I was before. But we still have people that clutch on to their desires of what they love to eat, what they love to do. Hell, there are so many products that we have that compromise our immune systems, basically. One of the biggest things that causes problems is like, you know, inflammation internally. And that causes a lot of things to happen. There are a lot of things that cause, you know, free radical cells to start to mutate into cancerous cells or, or tumors, you know, and that's never a good thing. The thing is, we are taught to ignore our bodies. We are taught to utilize certain products and foods when they haven't been really been tested. And many things have been tested, but they have not been brought to light because humility is lacking in the entities that cause these things to be in our lives. As opposed to saying this product that we have put out here and the public entrusted us to do the right thing, we fail them. We actually don't want to own up to it. We'll just pass it off. We're going to lawyer up and we're going to change the narrative. So the regular public who doesn't have access to the knowledge that we have, they'll, they will not be for the better. They won't know. So I urge everyone to start really looking into reading your body, understanding your body. Your skin is itchy. Your tongue is white. You have a pain in your leg, got a pain in your back, got a pain in your head. Most of the time, that's your body saying it's a symptom of something. Something has to be corrected. Something has to be added to your diet. Something has to be taken out of your diet. Some product that you're using needs to be done away with. Some product you're using needs to be substituted with a more healthier substitute. We have to really get back to it because we know so much about going off into space. We have so much different types of computing devices in our hands. We got AI, we got automation. We have so much things going on that we could applaud ourselves on. But then here we are still struggling to deal with the very vehicle that our creator gave us. That doesn't make any sense to improve everything about us, around us. And we still have no idea of how to take care of this body. Anyways, that's all I have today. You can catch the rest of my content on my website, which is www.brooklynbaritone.com. You can catch more of my content on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I am also found on LinkedIn under Corey Ashley. You could also catch me on Instagram and on Facebook. I am also on the audio version of these podcasts, Google Podcast, Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Music under podcast. I also broadcast on Brooklyn Cable Television four times a week. I come on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 a.m. and 2 p.m. I come on Spectrum, RCN, Verizon, and Optimum. I want you guys to be blessed. I want you guys to walk good. I want you guys to take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself so you can be in better shape to take care of everyone else and everything around you. Anyways, you will hear from me next week. I am out. Be blessed. Walk good.